welcome one and welcome all baby to the people's channel orchids for dummies and in today's video honey i am going to let you know why mama do not keep her orchids outside <laughs> this will not be a long video so um upon me going to redlands i was like oh lord i have orchids and i want to make room for new Phalaenopsis orchids. So these are the orchids that I don't care for the most. And so I put them outside to experiment. Also to um, hopefully kill them. I'm sorry, foul pals. We just, we living in our truth. So let's take a look at each and every individual orchid. Talk a little about it and let's have a conversation on what I should do. Stay tuned. Oh, first is my Dendrobium Angel Love Vivid. And um, she is growing inside of a wooden basket. I purchased her like this. And immediately, honey, she, um, she started growing and growing. And she was just, she got too big for indoors. So I had to put her outside. Immediately, I put her outside right before I came from, went to Redlands. I came back. She had ants all over her. Not only did she have ants all over her, but she had spiders on her as well. And ever since I had the spider problem, I have not seen the ants um, in, a, in the past few days, honey. So what I am going to do is try, if I can, honey, if I can. Oh. Okay, so some kind of way the hooks came off of the pot. So I have to put that back on. But if you guys can see, we have new root production. So unfortunately, honey, she is not dying. Um, she is one of the only orchids that I did not have um, sunburn on. Now, if we look over here, we have some cakeys. Um, this right here is a cakey. It's kind of hard with this thing on it. And I don't want to get bit by anything. Okay, here we go. Can you see? Now, Val, pal, you need, you love trying to tell me about these dendrobiums. What do I need to do? Now, this has roots. I would love to experiment with this and put it on something. But how do I disattach it? And the rest of it, of this orchid, I don't. This is another um, no ID dendrobium. I'm hoping she finally is dead. She received a lot of sunburn. Um, and the sun does not even shine that bright over here. But, honey, t please tell me she's dead, honey. Um, you guys know I never did um, do anything with this um, Phalaenopsis. But as you can see, that kaiki that was um, produced from this one, it has taken a whole new life. Now these cakeys, um, I am willing to try to do something with them. Um, I'm scared to touch them. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of white stuff back there. If you guys know me, you know I do not do the bugs, honey. So the only thing that I've been doing for this orchid is I'll pour a little water inside of here every now and then. And that's the only thing I've done. It's still the same pot and soil that it came into so stay tuned and fail pals this right here is my uncidium uh, wildcat golden red star and this is the new growth that i have and i don't know what to do um i'm thinking that i should probably repot her a different type of way but honey mama has been out here for too long i don't know <laughs> what's in that pot um Oh, see a bug flew. See, mama can't do it. Mama can't do it. But um, it's the best that I can do without getting too close and too scared. As you can see for yourself. Um, I don't see anything extraordinary other than this is the only plant that has not suffered from severe um, sunburn. Okay, we're going to talk about my Vanda. My Vanda Danielle, honey. The ants did not bother um, the vanda for some reason. The wasp 
were the ones to love the Vanda. As you can see, I got some black stuff growing on the inside. I don't know if that's good or bad. Um, um, I'm doing um, water culture on her, um, mostly on the day. I try to do it every day, but honey, I have not been, I have not been the best daddy. Okay, your niece, you told me to take it out of that pot, and now you see what happened. She has gone downhill from there. So, fail pals, this is why mama don't do outside. I am grateful that the ants left on there, on by theirself. Um, guys, let me know what should I do about my cakeies, my baby orchids. And stay tuned. Until next time.